All right, folks, hello and welcome to this Desmos tutorial. In this one, we'll be looking at uh, the motion of various objects using one slider. So here, I right at the top, we have radar detects enemy jets moving toward a base. And my goal was to come up with six different radar dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can read them there on the left. And I want them all to be moving by the motion of the same slider. Okay, and as you can see, I made some different functions. I can click or unclick. I have a cube root in there to show the path. I have a linear path. I also have a square root of x path, uh, another linear path, another linear path. And so these are the different paths that the radar dots, which will indicate the jets, are gonna take towards the center. Uh, but my goal in this video is just to give you an, another example of how you can rig the coordinates using a single slider. So, for example, let's go through it. Uh, this first one we have C and then T of C, which means it's going to follow the T function, this purple line here, and the radar dot will simply move along that as C goes from negative 21 to negative 3.2. So that will come from the negative direction, we'll have a dot moving along there. The next coordinate pair though, because I don't want them all to just be coming in at the same time at the exact same uh, the exact same x value or x distance from the center. It's not going to look as interesting. You might want to offset things. So the next one uh, we have at c plus three and f of c plus three. So if you look at f, that's this cube root function here, and the dot's going to be coming in along the red line. Um, but since I wanted it to offset it with the first dot. I can add three to each of the coordinates. You always want your input and output to match in order for it to follow the function line properly. Uh, so make sure you do that. But by adding three, or I could have done C minus three, C minus three, uh, we will get it to be staggered uh, in its path. The next one, we're using the T function again, which is the purple function. But since I want to come from the opposite direction, I want to come from the other side now, the top right, Instead of using C, I use opposite of C, or negative C, because if C starts out as negative 21, well then if I take the opposite, then I'm starting out in the x direction from positive 21, and then it'll come in from that way. Uh, next up, we have G function, which is simply you know, negative x, so that one will just follow that function accordingly, coming in from the top left. And then we have the next one, which is h of x, so there's h of x, coming in on a horizontal line, but if I want it coming from the right, I use negative c as my input, and then yes, the output doesn't really matter here because it's always zero. It's a constant function, so I can put whatever I want as this output, it's not going to change. And then lastly, uh, for this dot, we use the r function. There it is, the r function, and notice since it's a square root, you can't take the square root of a negative. So the way I rigged that one is to use absolute value bars and then r of the absolute value of c, and that'll allow it to come in along this square root function. Okay, so this is what our animation looks like. Let's give it a try. Click these off. These are radar detecting enemy jets moving toward a base. All right, and as you can see, they're not all coming at the same time. I'll just speed it up to see it again. And they're kind of staggered in their motion, which makes it a little bit more interesting. So this is another example of how to rig the coordinates and use one slider to move several objects at once. Thank you for watching this video example.